today we're talking about solar charge controllers. Uh, I've got a CMT PO2 20 amp uh, pulse width modulation charger right here. Um, and these have come down in price and size quite a bit since back in the day. Um, I currently use a Trace C40. Um, Xantrex actually brought out Trace. Um, and this is just the, the LCD uh, output display. I'll show you what the actual charge controller looks like here in a minute. Um, but this one here is a little uh, 20 amp charge controller. They cost uh, under $20 on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the video description below. And uh, when it comes to charge controllers, you basically have two different types. You've got the pulse width uh, modulated type which are good for lower voltage panels um, any of you that are uh, trying to charge uh, um, an RB solar system um, any small home solar system is probably going to want to use a pulse width modulated charge controller like this one here or like a Trace C40. Um, when you start getting up into bigger uh, multi-panel systems if you got like four or five panels and they're running a uh, 24 to 48 volts and up um, that's when you want to look at an MPPT charge controller because they can take that high voltage and uh, charge the batteries at full amps. Uh, unlike a pulse width modulated charger, which can only charge at the output uh, of the panel itself. So uh, PWM chargers are good for low voltage smaller systems like the home user. Um, MPPT systems are good for, um, you know, higher voltage setups or panels run in series to create high voltage. So for most RV and home users, you're going to be looking at a pulse width modulated charger. And the CMT PO2 is a, a good option because they, they are very inexpensive. Um, you can replace it if, ever, if it ever goes bad versus a C40, which is going to cost you over $100, um, especially with the external uh, mount there. So the things you get with uh, the like a C40 charger is uh, you know the ability to have an externally mounted display, um, full watts and amps output display versus this, which only has LEDs on it. Um, not a big deal for the average home user. Most of the time you got one or two panels and you're just trying to charge some 12 volt batteries. Something like this is perfectly okay. Don't hesitate to buy this cheaper charge controller because you don't, you don't really need 40 amp charging capability. I've only got three panels on my RV, which is what this is powering, and that is way overkill for what I'm doing. We're actually uh, only charging at 13 watt, one amp right now. This little uh, $14 charger could easily handle that load plus another three panels. So um, if I didn't get a good deal on that, I would definitely buy something like that. Let's go outside and I'll show you what the, the C40 looks like uh, as an actual charge controller. C40. And if you compare the size of those two, you can see right away that uh, you know C40's got this big ass heat sink up there. This just has like an aluminum back heat sink. Um, the C40 can handle all sorts of different types of load versus the CM CMT PO2, which can only handle solar loads. Um, other than that, they have similar features. This one is probably going to do just fine for most home solar units or most RV solar setups. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a, a 5 out of 5 for price. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit higher amps, the same seller um, sells these in a 40 amp version for not too much more. Um, but uh, I would definitely buy one of these over one of these if I was going for a new system right now. Um, they've come down in, in price and technology so that this is perfectly fine. So make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. Hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.